Sensex and Nifty closed 3.2% higher on June 5th, driven by value buying after both benchmarks fell nearly 6% in the previous session. FMCG stocks' flight remained uninterrupted on June 5th as investors sought safety in defensive following the surprising election outcome. Maruti Suzuki India on Wednesday said it will invest Rs 450 crore over a span of three years towards commissioning renewable energy projects linked to solar power and biogas. On June 4th, the Dutch Parliament approved providing an unspecified amount of subsidies to the company to accelerate the renovation. Hindalco postpones Nobilis IPO says will evaluate timing in the future. Let's take a deeper look into the top developments today. On June 5th, Sensex and Nifty rebounded by 3.2% after a 6% drop in the previous session, driven by value buying. Sensex closed at 74,382, up 2,303 points, while Nifty 50 rose by 689 points to 22,573. Nifty Bank, Nifty Auto and Nifty FMCG surged over 4%. Except for Bharat Petroleum and LNT, all 48 remaining Nifty 50 companies gained, with HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank and RIL leading. India wakes the volatility gorge fell 29% to 19 post a rise to 30 on June 4th. Market experts anticipate continued volatility until clarity on the cabinet and key portfolios. However, they remain optimist about the long-term potential of the Indian market. FMCG stocks continued their ascent on June 5th as investors sought refuge in defensives post the unexpected election outcome. With the incumbent government's performance falling short of exit poll projections and the likelihood of a BJP coalition government instead of a full majority, investors turned to FMCG for stability. The nifty FMCG index surged nearly 6% building on previous gains. Top performance such as Imami, Hindustan Unilever, Dabur and Tata Consumer Products saw around a 10% rise in early trading. Maruti Suzuki India announced a Rs 450 crore investment over three years for renewable energy projects, including solar power and biogas. In FY24, the company invested Rs 120.8 crore and plans to increase this to Rs 450 crore starting FY25. A pilot biogas plant at its Manisa facility producing 0.2 tons of biogas daily is expected to generate 1 lakh cubic meter of biogas in FY25, offsetting 190 tons of CO2 annually. Additionally, Maruti expanded its solar capacity to 43.2 MW in FY24 and aims to add 35 MW to its Manisar and Kharkoda plants, reaching a total of 78.2 MW by FY26. On June 4, the Dutch Parliament approved subsidies to accelerate Tata Steel's renovation, estimated at $3.26 billion by external consultants. Reuters reported that residents near the Dutch steelworks have a 2.5-month lower life expectancy due to the emission, according to the Dutch National Institute for Public Health and the Environment. The institute's research link emission to increased lung cancer risk, attributing 4% of new cases in the area to planned emissions. Novelis Inc., Hindalco's industry's U.S. subsidiary, has postponed its planned IPO for now, with plans to reassess timing later. Initially aiming to raise $810 million to $945 million, it was set to be the largest IPO by an Indian company in the U.S. Shares for the IPO were to come from AV Minerals Netherlands NV, another Hindalco subsidiary. Following the IPO, Hindalco would retain 92.5% ownership of Nobilis. Nobilis, a major aluminium recycler with clients like Coca-Cola and Ford, posted strong Q4 FY24 EBITDA per ton of $540, boosting Hindalco's performance. 